They come by the carload. Which movie? Godzilla. Godzilla. It's going to be straight ahead in theater one. Intent on seeing the latest Bye. special effects blockbuster. Two is going to be 950. But in a setting that's a throwback to Doris Day and Cary Grant. $19 together. Do we have to pay for the guy in the trunk? No. <laughs> My parents used to bring me, like, in our pajamas, you know, middle of the night, or get us up, you know, take us in the van, watch the movie. Kind of like your chest chastain, but they're in the movies. <laughs> They've played movies outdoors here since the summer of 66. Next weekend, they'll stop forever. Time to face your fears, children. Managers of the 85 North Drive-In say the place wasn't doing that badly financially. But they say the corporate owners of the property decided that they could make better use of the 33 acres of prime real estate located inside the perimeter. This is strictly a business decision on Regal Cinema's part. It's just, we're a public company, and of course, you know how shareholders are. They want to make some sort of a profit, too. The demise of the drive-in also marks the end of a 24-year daytime tradition here. Those are $15. It's $23. That's the best you can do. The flea market that sprang up each Sunday in the shadow of the twin screens. Three dollars. One dollar. And that's an item that, you know, that I bought today. We got a closeout. One dollar. It became a shambly Thank institution. You. Tapping into the area's working class immigrant community. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I just, I hate that this place is closing, really. You know, with progress, a lot of things must change. You know, we got to give up a few things to get better things. You guys are closing? Yes. Terrible. Oh, no. <laughs> In this case, progress means a new multiplex theater with as many as two dozen screens, all indoors. Do you think I should ask him? And, and Metro Atlanta's crying out for another multiplex, huh? Um, that wasn't my decision. Um, I'm kind of sad. I've, I've put blood, sweat, and tears into this theater. And uh, it's been a lot of fun for me out here.